terms of the relationships between uh, people, uh, the use of... Cities are rising now as a key uh, uh, element in the world order. Uh, the, their GDP actually is huge, and the mayors proved that they can be more efficient, more effective than governments. If you watch what happens on the, some of the major cities in the world and see how they are far ahead of, of, of the governments in implementing uh, really key uh, issues which has come to climate, to, to, to uh, development, etc., innovative solutions coming from cities, and that is really very important for us. Our cities are some of the most dynamic spaces in our continents. When you look at cities like Lagos, like Abuja, like Johannesburg, like Cape Town, like Nairobi, like Abidjan, like my city of Accra, immediately the names of these cities come to mind. You think of vibrant, dynamic spaces and you think of the energy and the entrepreneurship and the promise that Africa shows that is coming out of these spaces. But at the same time, in these cities, we also have some of the biggest slums, which are growing at wonderful rates. And at the same time, we also have to deal with our fair share of challenges. It also helps uh, to build the relationship between those coming into a community and those already in the community. So you have a situation where today, you know, 24 cities are going to account for 44% of the GDP in Africa. So what we do with cities is important. So how we light up cities is important. How we feed cities is important. The kind of infrastructure, the water, health, and sanitation that we get for cities are very important. And how we deal with the pattern of migration into the cities will determine the extent to which the cities themselves become more resilient going forward. Uh, cohesion, uh, which can so easily be undermined. We need to recognize that as we sit right now, without any further new migration into our cities, that our cities are actually tinder boxes and powder kegs waiting to explode. An example from Tanzania, the, the mobile size of... If we can build that public space of trust, then we begin to change. And let me give you a concrete example. In Nigeria today, 54% of the 8 million people that are connected to electricity in Lagos have generators. That is a sign that they don't trust the government. They know that when they wake up in the morning, they will not have electricity. So what do they do? They double the price of the cost of energy and buy a generator. Most people are in businesses and in a context where, going back to the discussion earlier, and where are we now in Africa? It's uh, Africa's on the rise. And we need to rise too as city leaders. And we must then design a template, a new template, how to adapt existing cities so that they can fit into and in dealing with uh, urbanization. So you have to have an economic growth strategy for your city. You need to have a social development strategy for your city because economic development and social development are two sides of the same coin. Um, I come from the infrastructure, hard infrastructure space, and financing space. The needs of the, the youth themselves and the needs of the private sector. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Anyway, yes. The problem that we have in the African villes africaines is that the public space public n'est pas que pour les véhicules, il est pour le public. Et le public, ce sont les personnes. C'est ça la première chose sur laquelle nous nous accordons. Maintenant, dans les villes africaines, avec la migration rurale, ces populations transforment tous les espaces publics en lieux de commerce ou en lieux non dédiés. Good evening, Ghana. How are you doing? No more one city. Okay, then, now, 
Ghana go win. Vous savez, c'est pour la bonne gouvernance en Afrique, surtout pour la démocratie et surtout le forum de Mo Ibrahim cette fois-ci, c'était sur l'économie, la politique et l'urbanisme aussi en Afrique. Donc le joueur participe aussi. Il y a beaucoup de gens qui, qui vont venir aussi pour regarder Mazembe. Donc c'est une façon de communier aussi avec tout le peuple africain. And I say we have two passions, politics and soccer. And so I guess you can tell that Ghanaians are very happy about this football match. Founder of the Mo Ibrahim Foundation. <laughs> 